Hi guys, my name is Jada, better known as Jada Valerie. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can like be here and be part of the family. But yeah, so today I'm going to show you guys how to complete this look that I did. And I'm also going to show you guys how I removed this look as well. And I think that's it. That's all I got to say. Now let's get straight into this video. Okay, so first we're going to start off with some primer. The primer I use is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And my hands are very ashy. We're gonna take care of that after because I gotta wash my hands anyway. I don't know why I did that. I usually do it on my face <sighs> like this. I don't know why I just put that on my hand. <laughs> I always brush my eyebrows up on my hands, my fingers. <sighs> when I put that on, next thing we're gonna do is today I'm going to put in some eyebrow gel. I don't usually put on eyebrow gel, but we're gonna try it out today with y'all. <sighs> I'm using my benefit mirror to like really get up, see really see up close. Okay. So now that we got our eyebrows chilled up, we're going to do our eyebrows. Now, I use a Morphe pencil. I love this Morphe pencil. I got it in the shade, what is this? The chocolate mousse shade. And I was just, I got it to try it out and I haven't used another pencil ever since. I love this pencil. So now with my eyebrows, I just start with outlining them to really like figure the shape I want. Cause I was not blessed with eyebrows like that. Actually my eyebrows are growing at the moment, which is surprising cause my mom, my sister doesn't really have eyebrows like that. So I'm surprised mine are growing like this, but my dad do. So. That's probably where I'm getting them from. But, and then right here, eyebrow always look a hot mess before we finish it. Just to give y'all heads up so I'm gonna be like, this look crazy. Yeah, I know. It always look crazy before. And y'all see that line up too? And I always struggle with the outside of my uh, eyebrow. Always. I always just fix it with the concealer. And then I brush, like, basically I kind of like brush the eyebrow pencil off to get that ombre effect. I just keep brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing until I get it to my liking. Which is, I think that's good. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so that's this eyebrow, and that's how this one looks. So now let's let me go ahead and do this one. So that's this one. Now I am about to put on the concealer. The concealer I'm using today under my eyebrows is the Dior concealer in the shade six five N. This is how the bottle look. I dropped it, so my top broke. But I take my brush, if I can find it, my little flat brush, I take this brush and I just dab it on there like so. And I just outline the bottom of my eye. This is my best friend when I'm doing my makeup. Make sure y'all have your little mirror and I like that I could pick it up. Even though I used to have a mirror where it just had the, you know, the one side was regular and the other side was like more like zoomed in. I like this one better, to be honest, than the zoomed in. I don't know why. But after I aligned it to my liking, I take it and I go across 
like such. And then I just dab at it. Dab. Dab, 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 dab. And then we do the other side. So now I do in the middle once I'm done with both sides. I take my brush and I go across the middle like that. Just to make sure that it look right. See, they're already starting to look better. A lot, like a lot better. <laughs> now we gotta do the top. Now, I don't use concealer at the top of my eyebrows. I use foundation just because of the blending. Like, it takes a lot of blending. And I don't like to be, like, light skin up here. <laughs> so, that's why we use our foundation. And the foundation I use is by one size. And it's in the color Deep One. I need to get some more. I didn't have this bottle for a long time though. It looks small, but they got a lot in it. And I've been loving it. My skin is always usually old. But with this, it's like my finish is always matte. And I love it. Ooh. Okay, so then I do the top of my eye and I just basically outline into my locking. And ever since I've been doing this, my eyebrows been looking better at the top. Cause when I was using concealer, I didn't, I didn't really like it. For real, for real. And then I also dab up here too. Even though I'm about to put on some foundation all over my face, I still dab it to blend it, just to make sure everything is blend. Cause you do not want. No part of your face to not be blending right. Come out looking crazy. <laughs> one of my eyebrows always look better than the other one. And it's most of the time this one, but today is this side. And my eyebrows are not the same thickness. Like one eyebrow is thinner than the other one. <sighs> so I be struggling with that because I be going based off of my natural brow most of the time. So it's kind of hard to like make it like even. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna put some on my face. And I always close it with my chin because usually some excess comes off. And I just wipe it on my face. Now the brush I use for my eyeshadow is by e.l.f. It's a buffing foundation brush. And the first thing I do is pat it out. I pat it out all over the side and then I rub. Because, why? I don't know, that's just what I've been doing. And it's been working. But like, look at that. Do y'all see that? That coverage? Do y'all see that coverage? Like, where my face is and doesn't have any foundation on it? And then look at that side. I love this. It took me so long. Let me show y'all the foundation I used to use. I used to use this custom foundation that I make it. And it was cool and all at first. Y'all see, I, first of all, I got two bottles of this. Ever since I got that one size, I have not used that eye package. I like it, but it's just the one size with my skin. It just does better. I don't know why, but it just do. And I do the same thing. I tap my forehead too. And I also, I do this as well. Cause I don't be liking that line from the concealer. I do that line to make it even. Not to just stay there. And I also look at my eyebrows while I'm doing this because like, I can see like a part that I, of this eyebrow that I don't like already. And even though I feel like everything's funny, I still do like a little quick little overview. Make sure. 
because you, when I say you never want your makeup to not be blended uh, right, never, because you gonna look like a clown. Now, the one thing I am gonna do is eyeshadow. I can go to, to that part, so I can prepare what eyeshadow I'm gonna do. And I'm not putting on lashes today, guys. I'm only doing mascara as well. But now we're moving on to concealer. So, usually what I do is I've been putting on a lighter concealer on the inner corner. And this one, no, I've been putting lighter concealer on this part, the inner corner and the outer corner. And then I put my Dior concealer on the inner corner. But today, I'm only going to put it on the, inner, the lighter concealer on the inner corner. And I'm using the Morphe concealer. I got it in the color Rich 30. And it's called the Filter Effect. So I'm only gonna put it right here. Oh, and on my nose. I, I do like this one on my nose. And then we're gonna put our Dior concealer everywhere else. So we're going to do that, put it on our chin, our forehead, and then that's it for that. Also, this girl on uh, TikTok, she been putting her, she been putting her concealer, you know, her concealer and her contour on before she like blend everything out. So the contour I use on the cheek area. And on my forehead is by Fenty, the Fenty Beauty Stick. I got it in the color Espresso 5. And I'll go in like that. And I'll just go across my forehead at the top. So now I'm about to take my Beauty Blender so I can see I've been using whole lot I use this one and this one as I could tell <laughs> um I'm gonna use this side though I need to really watch this first thing I'm gonna do is start in the middle so blend these two concealers together in the middle of my eyes so I am looking crazy but I tap in the middle and then I work my way out I always do the inner corner last and I do work it all the way up to the top, like that. And I keep blending, keep blending, yep. Because it lifts my face when I come all the way up here. And after I blend that out, I go in the middle corner. And I just blend that part. This is what takes the longest, the blending, because you want to make sure everything is good, everything is right. And I used to blend with brushes. Before brushes, I blended with beauty blenders. Now I'm back to beauty blenders. Either one could work. So I'm going to do this side with the beauty blender. And I'm going to do the other side with a brush. Just so y'all can see the difference. I got these brushes from TJ Maxx. Y'all know in that, um... What one is that? I don't know. It was trending though. It was like it's like during Christmas time, and it's like a big old long box of brushes and stuff, and it come with beauty blenders and all that and stuff. Yeah. So I got that from there, and then so I can have two sets of brushes when I need to wash one. I keep the other one. These brushes are soft, a couple of them wasn't, but this brush is really soft. And the reason that I was using brushes is because, y'all see that? Y'all see that side? And then y'all see that side? So we're gonna have to blend this side with the brush too. Because I didn't realize the difference that it made, so I just did that. We're going to blend this side with the brush. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. No one know why it's okay. Because we're gonna fix it later. Wow. That's crazy. 
Now I'm about to blend the rest with this brush. Cause I've not ever used this beauty blender again. Cause that, that's crazy. I like the blend better. Now with my forehead, I always, I stay right here. Stay in the middle at first. I wanna get it blended as much as possible. Then I start to go out and up and out to the other side. Now, as far as my nose, I like to use some skinny. So I'm about to look for another blending brush. I like that these got the names of the brushes on it because I don't know what no brush is useful, honestly. Um, for my nose, we might have to use the Beauty Blender blend blend because I can't find a brush that's small enough to blend it. So I'm gonna have to use this Beauty Blender for right now. And I gotta get a brush, which means that's a trip to support. With my nose, I blend it up and out. Because it likes blending with my own. What's this called? My forehead. I'm so about what's this called? It blends in with my forehead. I just want to blend this out too because that's my cute. So now I'm gonna take my Morphe um, complexion brush. I got it for my birthday, and I'm gonna do my contour. Now I don't know if you're supposed to rub, but I rub. Probably not supposed to rub, but I rub my contour. And it, this is what works for me. So, so now that we got that stuff, I'm like how my nose is blending. I need a brush. Now that I see how the brushes work. I don't like how my nose went in. Here's the angle brush, but I use it for my bronzer. We're gonna use this. This is not what this is for. This is for sculpting contour. But we about to use it to uh put it. So now I'm about to take my Juvia's Place bronzer. I got it in the shade dark. This is what it looks like. I always use this bottom shade right here. I've never used that top shade. But I take this and I sculpt my nose from the eyebrows down. And then I do do this part right here to give that effect of like a skinny nose. But now after that, I put on some powder. I use the one size setting powder in the shade Dark Deep. For under my eyes, I use a powder puff. Oh, that, that made a mess. But I needed some more powder. Oh boy. And then, do y'all see that difference that it makes? I see under that eye, and then under this eye. So yeah. And after I do this, I go back in and fix my nose and stuff because it does like kind of like mess it up. But so which means I probably should do the mountain after I do this, right? That's what I'm here. So y'all see how I'll be learning stuff as I go. But we got that. And so then I take my Blending my powder brush. That's what this is. My powder brush. I got this from Target. Best powder brush I've used in my life. She was ten dollars. Go run. But I use dots up here, up here, and on my nose. And then I go under my eyes some with this. So now that we got that, that's basically like the base I look at myself and I fix anything that I don't like. 
which is my nose. I'm not really too, I'm not feeling my nose too much. I'm probably not gonna put no more because there's some on this brush. I'm probably just about to do that. I want to do, fix my problem. My contour, so. Okay. So that's what we got so far. Now that we got that situated, we put on some blush. I got a Juvia's Place Palette blush. And I got it in the shade Volume 5. This is what she looks like. I use both of these. I think today I'm feeling more like a darkish pink. So, that's not mine. Here we go. So, I just tap because... I don't like too much blush, and I do like a like a U cut, like a not a U, but like a check on my cheek, cause I don't wanna be like too rosy. So now that we got that, what's next, guys? My eyes, my eyes are next. Okay, so now I'm about to put on some eyeliner. For my eyeliner, I use the e.l.f. eyeliner pencil. It's a no buzz retractable eyeliner. So it looks like when you lift it up, that's what it looks like as well. Mine's is dull. But it still works good. You can just off. And for eyeliner, I... always mess up my eyeliner always i don't think it's ever been a time where i didn't and today i think i want to go in with a little a little triangle in the inner corner for my eye so i just put a dot right here and i go up and then also go down just to add that little like effect on my eye but I always put my eyeliner on a regular first before I do that. So then we go in right here, the little dot. We go up and down, up and down. Eyeliner makes a, like a big difference as well. Like it's crazy the difference it makes. So now I am going to do my eyeshadow with my Meredith palette. Um, I love this palette. Ab Oops. Absolutely love it. So now I don't know what color I'm going to do today. I think today we're going to... I usually do neutral colors. Like, like I've done this one quite often. It's like a brown color. I did red and silver for the Rice and Tiller concert I went to. I think since I did like a more like dark pink, I think I want to mix colors. Like I think I want to put this red on, but I want to put this pink on top just to try something. Mind you, I'm not good at eyeshadow, so we'll see how this come out. The eyeshadow brush I'm using, I got it from Sephora. It's a Sephora vegan eyeshadow brush. Um, I love it. It feels so soft and amazing. So the color is called Lobster Roll. Okay, 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 so we got that going. Now let me wipe this off. I also use an old washcloth to do stuff like this. And let's just wash it afterwards. But this is my makeup washcloth to do stuff like this to my brushes. And then the color I'm going with is called UES. That's a bright pink. Y'all, I'm scared. Oh, oh my goodness. I thought my braid, my braid had failed and I thought it was a bug. 
But I used the red to make the pink a little darker. And it don't look bad. It don't look bad. It's better than I thought. Now let's do the other side. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad for me to be bad at eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna add maybe a little glitter to it too. I'm about to add this gold right. Oh, if I could hold the palette right. I'm about to add this gold right here. It's called uh, Cities of Dreams. It's actually pretty cute. I'm excited. Okay, now after I'm done with my eyeshadow, I always blow my palette to keep it looking good. See? And her palette did come with this. I need to use it so I can learn how to do something. It's like a guide, but I have it. So. so, next is the eyelashes. I have to straighten my lashes because they are so freaking curly. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then see, like, it, I said that because it always looks like it hurt. But y'all, I promise this does not hurt <laughs> at all. Uh, yep. So I strain them like this so that they can pop more. That one I strained it pretty good. So now I use the L'Oreal Telescopic because I use two different um, eyeshadows. I use the L'Oreal Telescopic first, then I go on with the Big Mood Elf, the Elf Big Mood um, mascara for volume. This is for like. This left look. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but also, a tip I learned from watching YouTube videos if you do this to your eyelashes, it gets on there. But that mascara could really get on there. And I'm about to put this on my bottom lashes because this is the mascara I was going to put on my bottom lashes. So while it's open, and don't be scared to touch them lashes. But don't get it on your face. But don't be scared when you're doing it because you really want to get that mascara on them bottom lashes. And honestly, I always get mascara on my bottom, like on the skin under my bottom lashes. But because it don't look that bad, honestly, y'all, I'll be leaving it on there. Now, I got it on this side, but we gotta fix that or something. Cause that ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> but now it's time to go in with the big blue mascara. And with this one, I ain't really gotta put too much effort in it. It just add a little, um, just a little bit. I need another one. Cause this one drying out a little bit. But yeah, and uh, to finish off my eyes, I go in with a cheap beauty supply um, eyeliner to put my mold back. Because I have a mold right here, but I always cover it up. And I just like, follow the little shadow of where it was. There we go. Now it's time to do these lips because. I'm tired of like feeling like they chat. <laughs> so I do most of the time outline my lips with the eyeliner. That same beauty supply eyeliner. And to help mix it in, I go in with a tiny little brush. And I like do like little circles. So then, they start looking like this, like real, real black. Once they start looking real, real black, I go on with this caucus lip gloss. In the middle, I got it free for my birthday. I put that in the middle to see how at first, and then 
If it's not bright enough for me, I go. In, I got this lipstick from TJ Maxx. But it's like a neutral pink color, and I just put a couple dots right here. And once I get the ombre look that I like, like, I like that. That's cute. Then I finally go in with my red uh, Elf lip oil. This one is Rose, Rose Envy. <laughs> And then I just heavily go in with that. Rub that in. And that's cute. And then I take my Morphe setting spray. I don't know if you guys shake this up, but I always shake it up. And I spray my face, make sure I get each part of my face. And then that's it. But because I want to be a little extra right now today, I'm gonna to add a little chrome highlighter on the tip of my nose. This is by Maybelline. By Maybelline in the color 20 Metallic Rose. I have so much because when I say I use the tiniest bit. I use the tiniest bit. Like this is way too much. Let me show y'all. That's way too much. So I wanna tap at my nose. And once I see, I feel like I got enough on it. I use my other finger and I go in and I play around with it. Okay. So now that is the complete look. Now, I'm, I gotta show y'all how to take all this off. Okay, so to remove this look, I have these little microfiber, not microfiber, these makeup remover washcloths. They're so cute, and so many came in the pack. I think like 12 came in the pack. I got them off Amazon. They linked in my Amazon storefront, so make sure y'all go check my storefront out to get y'all some. And they got all different colors as well. So, next thing I do is, this is filled with the micellar water, so I go ahead right here and I just push it down, get the wash off with it, as y'all can see, everything is your right water. Okay, guys. Then I go in and I just... wipe everything off. Y'all see that? Especially like on your eyelids, you really want to get on your eyelids because just wiping your face, you're not really going to get everything off. So just off of that one. That one wipe. Look, so now you want to rinse this off because when you wash it, if you don't rinse it off, this is go stain. We do not want that. Guys, I'm so angry. <laughs> I did not record me. I just recorded the whole process I take. I'll uh, take off my makeup and it wasn't recording. That's crazy. That's crazy, but I'm still gonna explain everything to y'all. I go in with some set of fuel to cleanse my face. And that first cleanse, you still gonna have some brown coming off because of your makeup or whatever, or whatever color your makeup is. It's gonna be still on your face, so just a little bit. So, you take that, you scrub your face up, then you take your washcloth, wipe that off, and then you go in with a, a double, another cleanse. So we're doing a double cleanse. Just to make sure you really get all that makeup off your, off your face so you're not breaking out and stuff like that. So 
and I go on with my double cleanse, repeat that same process, but when you put on your double cleanse, this should be white now with the set of So I go on with that. After I do that, I make sure I dry my face, make sure it's all dry, and I go on with some jerkies to moisturize because you just stripped your face. So you need to moisturize, put that moisture back in your face. And also need some lip gloss. Put some lip gloss on too. <laughs> But yeah, also, I just, I don't know, being in my natural state, I actually really have been enjoying it a lot. I go through these phases where I put, you know, I'm putting on makeup every day, or I ain't putting on no makeup at all. I don't have no in-between. No in-between. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was the end of the video. I'm so sorry that I had a technical difficulty and y'all could not see me doing my process. <laughs> I promise y'all that I'm gonna do it short. I'm gonna put on some makeup and I'm gonna do it short for y'all. And I'm gonna post it with this video too. So y'all can see the process and all that. <sighs> but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my Amazon storefront for the makeup remover washcloths. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.